Welcome students, in this particular class we will learn how to do some of the hardest questions in circle. So having mentioned that, let me draw this diagram. And there is a tangent at this particular point. change the color for this tangent. So at this point the tangent is hitting. Right and there is a center. This is the center. So from the center there is a perpendicular And uh, that's it. Okay. So we have the following information that I would have to write now. So this is an angle that's given. Right. So this angle is uh, given to be uh, 56 degrees. And we have let me write the vertices A, B, C. Right, and this is O. Okay. So let me write down the question A, B, C are the points on the circumference of a circle. The center is given to be as O. DAE is the tangent to the circle at A. And then you got angle BAE is equal to 56 degrees B A E now let me come back to the figure in a minute let me write down the question and you got another angle angle C B O is 35 degrees and it states work out the size of the angle CAO right so this point is O okay now DAE is a tangent so DAE is a tangent so let me write that down and then we are expected to find CAO so this angle is needed is there anything else and then C B O C B O is 35 degrees so this is 35 right so let's get the solution now foremost what you need to do step one observe the figure for what for tangent radius connections so whenever you observe a tangent next go up and check if there is a radius connecting with the tangent now, if it does now clearly you can see this point is given as O so from O to a point on the circumference O is the center to any point on the circumference will be a radius now there is an interaction between the radius and a tangent. It clearly says there is a tangent touching the circumference at the point A. Now after this, what do you do? This is a confirmed connectivity, uh, connectivity between the tangent and the circumference. So there is a 90 degree. So just go up over here. Probably I can use this. Go up over here and just mark 90 degrees. That's it. You're not going to be utilizing it. It's up to you whether to use this side 
or not but just mark that so that's a step one now step two you already see an angle here right so you have to find a theorem to apply that's the most important step you have to find a theorem that you can utilize now I clearly see there is an angle that has been given to us between the tangent and one of the sides so I can utilize that beautiful theorem which is called as alternate segment theorem this is the theorem I can use so by alternate segment theorem what does the theorem states you locate an angle which is actually present here between the tangent and the sides then this angle will be same as the angle that is present opposite and inside the triangle that would mean there is a 56 degree angle on this side right so by alternate segment theorem we know that angle at C is equal to 56 degrees right we are expected to find X now what I wish to do is I would want to complete this triangle now you see as O here and there is a C here and there is a uh, a side that is actually coming emanating from B to O. So what I wish to do, I would like to complete this. So let me complete it. So from O, I would be completing this part. Right? So it's exactly going towards the center. So there is a division. Now it doesn't matter whether it goes to the center or not but make sure that the line is starting from the point O and it it's that particular vertex that you see there right right there and just because it is dividing this it doesn't mean that the division is taking place equally right have that in mind okay now coming to the next point step number three now clearly OB is the radius. Let me write it in this fashion. Clearly, what do you see? OB is equal to R. So this means when I draw a dash, it means line segment. You don't have to do it. If you want, you can do it. OB is equal to R and you see here, OC is also equal to R and OC is equal to R. So this would mean OB is equal to OC. This means triangle BOC is an isosceles. I S O S C E L E S. Isosceles triangle. So this would mean what? The base angles are same. This means the base angles are equal. So what is the base angle here? Watch here. The base angle is 35. So clearly I can state that this is 35. But by alternate segment theorem, I know this entire angle. What is this entire angle? This entire angle is 56. Now the question is, if this entire angle is 56, what is this? 56 minus 35. You get 1, you get 2. So it's 21. So you can write 21 over here. So this is 21 right now what is X now watch here OC next step step number four conclusion conclusion with the result that's what I'm doing you don't have to write it but I'm just writing for your understanding now clearly what do you see clearly OC OC is equal to OA is equal to R. So this would mean two sides are equal. Two sides are what? Equal. 
So this will mean triangle COA is an isosceles. COA is an isosceles triangle. So this would mean the base angles are equal, right? This means the base angles are equal. So this in turn means since watch here OCA OCA is equal to 21 since angle OCA is equal to 21 degrees this in turn means angle OAC will also be equal to OAC will also be equal to 21 so this means x value is equal to 21 degrees so clearly x is equal to 21 degrees so that is the answer for this question this is a beautiful question and this is the full view of this beautiful question.